hello guys welcome back to ses ltd deals if you're new here make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the best lifetime deals on ses software i'm back with another review and today i'm going to review iki.ai so iki is an ai copilot and on iki you can create your own digital library and on that library you can add various content so it could be web pages it could be pdf it could be youtube videos it could also be a lot more content so once you add this content you can also chat with those content ask anything about those content you can also categorize this content into various collections and for asking question obviously there is going to be the ai copilot and the best part is there are all the latest ai models such as gpt 4o cloud 3.5 sonnet as well as gpt 40 mini and the great news is iki is currently available on app sumo as a lifetime deal the regular price is over 100 dollars but at app sumo you are getting the lifetime deal of iki at only 39 dollars now let's have a look at all the plans and features so here are all the features you will have your own personal library there is going to be auto tagging which means once you add a content iki is going to automatically add some relevant tags to those content in order to provide more context you can create unlimited collections in order to organize your content into various collections or categories you can share your collection so this is one of the best part about iki it has a feature called community so in this community you can share your collections share your files share a lot of different content and since it is a community you can also add various people into your friend list you can follow different people and then there is also gpt4 based copilot as well as cloud 3.5 sonnet based copilot you can summarize all the content that you have added there is a browser extension in order to add content directly on the browser there is peers feed as i said earlier the community feed there is also ai collection enhancement full text search curated collections dark mode unlimited highlights and notes and there is also private space for your team and these are three tiers that you can currently buy from AppSumo. The tier one is going to cost $39. Here you can have only one user. There is five hours of monthly video transcription. So this transcription limit is going to be used when you add YouTube videos. And there is also 200 copilot requests per month. So this copilot request is the all the questions that you have asked on the AI. And then there is also tier two. Here you can add three different users, which means you can add team members. There is also 40 hours of video transcription limit and then there is also unlimited copilot request per month which means you can ask as many questions as you want to the ai there is also tier 3 that is going to let you add five users 100 hours of monthly video transcription and as before you can also ask unlimited questions on this tier 3 and as you can see the deal is going to end in six days but it is not literally going to end in six days so after six days what is going to happen is that the pricing is going to increase so the pricing is currently at only $39 $129 and $249 based on their tiers but this price is going to increase once September 23rd comes so if you want to buy it at a discount at only $39 make sure you buy as soon as possible and if you want to buy it make sure you check the link in the description below and if you're new to AppSumo you can get 10% off your first purchase watch the full video till the end to know how now let me show you how iki.ai is going to work so once you log into iki you're going to get a dashboard just like this one so the first thing that you have to do is install their chrome extension and you're going to get that on this left sidebar so just click on this extension and now i'm going to add it to my chrome the extension bar okay so the extension has been added now i have to pin it so just click on this pin icon and it has been pinned now once i pin it i have to make sure i log in to the extension okay so it has automatically got logged in so how can you exactly use this extension for example you want to save a web page to your library this particular library or you want to save a youtube video all you have to do is just click on this extension and with just one click you can save it so let me open a youtube video okay so as you can see i have opened a youtube video and in order to save this video to my collection or to my library on iki all i have to do is just click on this extension and as you can see it has been added so let me open the library 
so as you can see i am back to my library so on this particular library all of the content that i save are going to appear so for example i have saved this youtube video it has been added to this library i can also save any pdf file web page any link any text file whatever i want i can save it on here and then i can chat with the ai with those files so as you can see i have now just added this youtube video and now i want to open it and here's my video so i can see the preview or play the video directly on here and on the right side the ai copilot has given me a summary a very good summary of this video video so here is the full summary and the best part is i can also see some related videos on here on this particular section so as you can see there are three different videos that are recommended using this video and now obviously i can ask anything about this video to the ai so for example i want to ask a question let me type my question on this box so this is going to be my question so now i'm just going to send it and just see how great of an answer the AI has given me. So obviously the AirPods 4 have several improvements and here are all the improvements. So this is a very accurate answer of the question that I have asked. So just like this, I can ask various questions and the AI is also going to give me some relevant question. So I can extract key ideas from this video. I can write a tweet about this video. So let me write a tweet. So as you can see here is a tweet that I can use on my X account or Twitter for this video. So just like this you can extract key ideas, you can get the summary or you can ask any custom question, any particular question that you have to the AI about this video. And then on top the best part is if you want to change the AI model. So since I am using this AI copilot in order to ask question, so I have the option to change my LLM or the AI model. So in order to do that just click on this. So just see now I have the latest AI model from GPT or OpenAI which is GPT-40. I also have the latest one from Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I can choose whatever the AI model I want for this copilot. And then on top there are also some other options so I can open the source link which means source of this particular video. I can add note. I can also add some other files and currently I'm on this copilot section for this video. I can also go to this notes. I can add new notes. So on this section I can also see some related content. So as you can see these are all the related content that I can see. And then on the left side on this preview side there are also some options. So I can share the material, share this particular page with any of these platforms. I can also add this material, add this video to a collection. So as I said earlier you can create collection in order to organize your files better. So currently there is only one collection. I can also create another. For example I want to create a collection. Since this video is about airports, so I have created a collection. For example, on this collection, I want to add all the videos that I find about airports. So I can provide a title, description, and I can also choose a profile image for this collection. Then I can create it. And if I want it to be private, I can also make that private. So as you can see, here is my new collection. Now if I open it, as you can see, this video has been added. So obviously other than YouTube videos, I can also add various web pages. So let me open a article. Okay, so as you can see, I have opened an article. It is a very basic article how to make pizza. So it is basically a recipe. So what I want to do, I want to save this web page link. So in order to do that, all I have to do is just click on this extension, this particular icon. And instead of that, I can also right click on my mouse. And then I have to just click on the save to my I key. okay so it has been saved so now let me go to my library so as you can see i am back to the library on iki and i can now see my web page link the recipe that i just saved so i can also open this in order to get the summary so here is a summary from the ai copilot as you can see and on the left side i can see the full recipe or the article that i just saved and once again i can ask anything about this particular article so for example, I want to ask how many ingredients are used for this particular article or recipe. So as you can see, it has given us a very accurate answer. Now let me ask another question. So as you can see, here's my another question and I have also got the answer about this question. And keep in mind the answer is always going to be collected from the content that you have added. So for me this was the content, this particular article or recipe. So I'm asking every question to the AI and it is collecting the answer from this article. 
So just like this, I can also add any content I want on my library and then I can analyze that using the AI. I can get the summary. I can ask any questions. And the best part is I can also organize my files, my content into various sections or various collections. So as you can see, I have two collections. So this is one collection and here's another collection. Now, for example, I do not want to add any content. I just want to create a note on my library. I can also do that. So just click on this add note. And the best part is your note is going to be powered by the AI. So on the left side, you can type your note. So as you can see, now I can start typing whatever I want. I can save my note on here. I can share the link, delete it or make it private or public. But on this right side, I can also take help from the copilot in order to enhance my note or in order to enhance my writing. So for example, I'm writing a note about machine learning. So this is going to be my note and now I want to get some topics about this note. So I'm just going to copy this and obviously you're going to have all the text formatting options on top since this is a note, note taking app. So for example, I want some topics, relevant topics to this. So now I'm just going to send this. And as you can see, I have got some very good topics, relevant topics to machine learning. And for example, I want to move this text or copy this text to here. So I do not have to manually copy and paste it. I can just click on this move to text. And as you can see, just see how amazing this feature is. I can super easily create different types of notes on here using the AI Copilot on the right side. And other than adding web pages or YouTube videos, I can also add various files directly from my computer. So for that, I have to click on this plus icon. And now I can upload or add links. I can do literally anything in terms of importing data. So first of all, if I want to add web pages, I can just add links on here. And for uploading, for uploading various files from my computer, I have to click on this upload button. So I can upload PDF file, CSV file, text file or any other files to my library and once I add those files for example if I want to add PDF file and after uploading I can also open this file just like these files these cards I can open just like the YouTube video or the web page that I showed you so once I open the PDF file it is also going to show me the summary of the PDF I can also ask anything any question about the PDF file to the AI copilot and on top, you can see the search option. So if you have a lot of files on your library, you can also search for certain files. And if you have a lot of files, if you want to see them as category or if you want to filter them, you can just click on this search filter. And now you can just see certain files on videos. So if I select videos, as you can see, only videos are appearing. And another feature on here is that once you add a content or add a content as a card. So I have added this web page or article. So now if I open this one i can also bookmark this so if you add a lot of content there are chances that this content are going to be lost since there are going to be so many content so you can also bookmark any content in order to find them later so for bookmark all you have to do is open a certain content then click on this add material to bookmark and now if I go to this bookmark section, so as you can see this particular article, the card or the article that I have added to bookmark, it is now appearing on this section. And I have only showed you the copilot when I open a file or a content, but you can also use the copilot or the AI totally differently without opening anything. So for that, you have to go to this ask I key and here you can ask anything to I key. So for example, if you want to give it web access, just click on this and now it has web access so you can ask any up-to-date questions so for example this is going to be my question so let me send this and as you can see this is a very up-to-date answer so if you want to get the latest answer you can just give web access to iki or you can also select library so if you select library now you can ask any question from the library from the content that you have saved on the library so for example i want to ask about your pods since i added a video video content of it to my library so this is going to be my question i'm just going to send this and as you can see, here is the two options. So this particular answer has been collected from my library since I selected library. And on the right side, you can also see the exact materials that are found that are related to this particular question or answer. And then you can also ask Iki about anything from this AI.
So these are basically all the AI features. You can add various content to the AI. You can get summary. You can ask questions. You can also go to this ask Iki in order to ask questions from the web or the library or Iki. You can access all of your bookmarks on here. And then we have this community, the community that I have mentioned earlier. So this community, you can see all the public collections, the collections that are shared by other people. So here's one collection, knowledge sharing and LLMs. Here's another collection, graph reg. So if I I open this I can see all the cards or all the different content that are added to this particular collection so this way you can browse various collections of other people what other people are sharing you can see those on here you can also see various people various users and if you want you can also follow certain people so as you can see I am already following this particular person I can also see all his followers as well as the people that he is following I can see all his collections the topics that he covers in terms of of creating content or adding content I can see all the things that he has added the experience so this way you can also follow different people as you can see I am following all these people the follower list is on the left side and then I can also see all my collection on this left side and if I go to these peers I can see the peers feed which means what my peers are sharing peers are the people that I follow so I can see the peers feed in order to see what my peers or the people that I'm following what they are sharing so overall, I think Iki is an excellent tool that lets you create a library. On that library, you can add various files. It could be PDF, YouTube videos, web page link, text, or anything that you want. You can also create notes and you can enhance your notes using AI. There's also a really good community feature where you can follow different people. You can see all the things that they share. So if you want to buy Iki on a lifetime deal from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below. With this tool, you are going to get all these features. And these are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. And keep in mind, the price is going to end after six days. So if you want to buy it at a low price of $39, make sure you hurry. So if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. For that, go to the link in the description. And once you enter the link, you are going to get a pop-up like this. And on this box, you have to provide your email. Then click on unlock my 10%. And then you will get a link in your email. Go to that link and this way you can get 10%. You have to use it from AppSumo Credits Gift. And this 10% discount is only for new customers. You can also join our SaaS discussion group on Facebook to get latest updates on SaaS software, exciting discounts and attractive giveaways just like this.